craft a basic bodice okay and maybe it's nature your favorite fashion tutor you are welcome and nice meeting all of you i'm happy to have all of you in class today so in today's tutorial i'll try as much as possible to make it very very clear and simple for everyone to understand because it's a basic bodice look i'm assuming you don't know pattern drafting so this is your first time that's my assumption i want you to know and understand all the details okay having said all of that let's go straight to the point so to get our basic bodice block we have to divide our hip into two okay so a hip divided by two is the width of your basic block my hip measurement is 40 inches so from here to here which is the block will be 20 inches so i've inserted 20 inches here so i'm actually drafting with a miniature so this is actually half of 20 inches so whatever measurement i mentioned what i'm putting down will be half of it okay so just take note of that so this is 20 inches that is half of my hip so i haven't gotten half of my hip i have to divide half of my hip into two again so that i'll get the back and the front so this side will be will be drafting the front this way and we'll be drafting the back of this this way so now let's measure half of this which will be giving me 10 inches on my normal body okay that's a quarter of my hip we are using the hip because the hip is the widest point of your bodies this is a full scale bodies that we want to draft okay divided it into two we'll be drafting our front here and our back haven't done that let's start drafting the very first thing we want to take note of is our shoulder point okay let's we can actually start from this edge but for clarity's sake i want a shoulder point okay try as much as possible for your lines to be straight okay here we'll be inserting our shoulder let's do that my shoulder is 14 so half of my shoulder is giving me seven that's what i'll be inserting here okay seven then on this side too i'll measure the same okay so let me also mention something this place will be our side our center back and here our center front all this other side will be for the side the side front and for the side back okay so i haven't gotten our shoulder points we have to bring it down okay so we are tracing this seven down so that we can have a straight line okay we have done the same thing for the back and for the front okay now the next thing we want to do we want to take our neck our neck depth and our neck width so to get your neck depth and neck width you divide your bust measurement by 12 inches the result is what you use for your basic body's neck and width okay for mine my bust divided by by 12 is 3 inches so note that 3 inches is constant meaning you can actually use 3 for everyone not minding the person's boss the boss size of the person you can use three for everybody but if you just want to go perfectly accurate measure your own uniquely for yourself okay so for mine it's already three so i'm working with that because my boss is 36 divided by 12 gives me three so i'm using three now measure three down here and three up here which is three by three that's for the front neckline for the back neckline the width also still will be three so three up then down one the one is also a constant figure okay having measured that we we'll use this curve to just curve a beautiful neckline out there this is for the front and this for the back okay have you seen that 
okay front and back so the next thing is to slope down our shoulder you know for the human shoulder the front is more slopey than the back using 1.5 inches to slope down the front okay this is tested and trusted okay so you can use otherwise depending on the slopiness of the person's shoulder but this has always been working for me for the different clients i've been doing for okay then for the back we slope it down by just one inch okay so now after sloping we connect it to the neckline this way and for the front this way okay next is your arm side that is the depth of your arm hole so to get your arm side you divide your bust still this time around you're dividing your bust by six then adding 1.5 inches okay arm side arm side otherwise known as arm hole measurement okay is bust divided by six plus 1.5 inches okay in my case my boss is 36 inches divided by 6 gives me 6 plus 1.5 gives me 7.5 inches so my arm side is 7.5 inches that's the depth of my arm hole so that's what 7.5 inches i've been putting it from the already sloped shoulder but i won't do that from the front because the front is already very slopey remember we sloped down the front by 1.5 inches so i'll be imputing it from the back okay so from the back i'll be tracing 7.5 inches okay it brings me here so now this line has to be straight also with the front therefore i have to trace it down this is how i will do i will now go to the upper of the block okay whatever i get i just use and measure down and just mark i have to get a straight line okay so what the line we want to form now is called the chest line so i haven't done that you just use your long ruler and rule across okay now we have gotten our chest line i hope we all understand what just happened so let's continue now to get the curviness of our arms arm side you know our arm arm hole is not as straight as this so we have to curve it to take shape so in order to get that we come up from this chest line for the front okay for the front bodies we are coming up from this chest line by three inches okay and this is also constant then on these three inches points we are going in by 0 0.75 inches okay 0 0.75 0 0.75 inches we try and get it right okay yeah 0 0.75 okay after getting to this point you now dispute our bust measurements my bust is 36 inches divided by four will give me nine inches okay so here is my bust so what we do now this point we got here and this bust point and this point are the things we want to connect together okay using our curve you may not get it at once for me this is a mini actual so i'm not expecting to even get it at once but if i can fine okay let's just go with this okay all right i got it so now for the back instead of coming off from the chest line by three for the back we won't do that we are tracing the midpoint of what we are having here okay okay there's the midpoint so on this midpoint now we are going in by half an inch okay going by half an inch and now we trace out the bust line too okay we are inserting the bust circumference measurements which is nine inches 36 divided by four nine from here to here we got the nine so we are joining this 
this to this okay same as for the front okay i hope that is okay now let's continue the next thing we want to do we want to trace our bust points that is the shoulder your shoulder to your bust measurements okay your shoulder to your nipple so to say for mine is 10.5 so 10.5 brings me here this is the measurement that you cannot find in the back so there is no need to take it to the back if you so wish you can for the purpose of this tutorial i just putting it here in front okay have you seen it now so the next thing we want to do we want to get our front our front waistline our front half length remember the back and the front are not equal so my front half length is 17 inches okay this is 17 then my back half length is 14 inches okay so now from the waistline this is the waistline actually from the waistline to the hip that is to the full length of the dress is 8 inches this eight is also constant in most persons, okay? From waistline to hip, that is where your blouse normally stops, okay? Not the full point of your hip. The blouse point, so to say, is usually eight, but you can measure. You can measure, depends on the client's preference, okay? For mine, is eight. So for the front, this is the full length of the blouse, otherwise known as the end line. Okay, let's impute these lines also at the back. So for the back, the half length is 14 inches. Okay. Same. Then the full length from this 14 points to the full length, another 8 inches. Okay. So now you may be wondering, the back is shorter than the front. How do we do this? How do we achieve accuracy when we are sewing? Yes, this will be taken care of by what we call the bust dart. Okay, I'll be introducing you to the bust dart as soon as possible. But before that, let's do our waist dart. Okay. So I haven't gotten to this point. The next thing is our waist dart. For the waist dart, you'll be needing your bust pan measurement. Your bust pan divided by 2. For mine, my bust pan is 6.5 inches. So divided by 2, give me 3 and a quarter. Okay? So 3 and a quarter, I'll just measure 3 and a quarter on this bust line. And on this waist line, 3 and a quarter also i'm taking it down to the m line i'm measuring three and a quarter so i'll be joining these points together using a long ruler if i'm not using a mini actual pattern okay so now we have joined the lines so on the waistline now we'll be imputing our that for the front that i always like going with what a uh, two inches one inch on one side and one inch on the other side okay let's do that so now having inserted one inch here i'll take it straight down also here i'll take it straight up then i bring it down to okay bringing it down there's something i have to tell you bringing it down i won't bring it down to the m line or to the to the hip point no i will not be bringing it down to the hip point but rather i'll be stopping two inches before the hip point okay two inches before the hip point is somewhere here that's how i'll be stopping it so let's go okay all right so we've gotten our waist that for the front so now the next thing we want to do for the front is to impute our waistline circumference my waistline is 28 divided by 4 is 7 now i've pinched out two inches for that so i'm adding back that two inch here so to give me nine okay 
so for the hip it's already 40 the boss circumference we marked it already so we now connect the boss circumference to the waistline and to the hip this way okay so it is now that we are to insert our boss that okay so the boss that will be on this boss line we are taking it down so the size of the bust that depends on the difference between your front half length and your back half length. For mine, the difference is 3 inches. Front is 17, while back is 14. So the 3 inches is what I'll be pinching out as the bust that. Okay. Okay. So that is it. I mark three measure from here to here 3 inches and then connected it to the bust point. Are we saying okay so the front is ready so for the back to we are imputing this that the same way we got this line using our boss pan we impute it here too okay now i've imputed the line also at the back but you may be wondering there is no bust line at the back so how come we stopped here yes from the chest line you come down by two inches to stop your darts for the back okay so that's what we just did and then for the back darts i want to go with i want to go with one inch for the back darts okay you can actually go with two inches just like the front but it depends on choice okay i'll go with one inch here that's that's half an inch this way half an inch this way okay that's how i want the darts but for the front it's not good to use half an inch half an inch the shape will not come out i'm using this for the back because my back is not so deep and also there is no bust at the back now so i won't really need much much okay also i'll be coming up by one by two inches just the same way we did it for the front and then we connect and connect okay the same way we measure our waistline circumference which is nine seven plus two nine and then connect it just like we did for the front okay okay so there is something little remaining that is the back tightening we are pinching out 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inches from this waistline region and then we connect it this way and this way this is for your zipper to relax when you are inserting the zipper okay so this is the shape that your bag block will be carrying and this is all for our basic bodies okay now there's something we call that manipulation if you don't need this boss that you don't need this waist that you will need to be closing this boss that okay so you can have only waist that so whatever that you want to manipulate now you open one and close the other so for example if you want to close this boss that if you try closing it like this there will be a shortage because this line is already longer than this line so for that reason i always advise we measure this line to be accurate and impute the same measurement this way okay you can see it has come out to this point okay so we form a new line like this and like this so when you are cutting when you are cutting this is where you pass to cut so by the time you want to close the boss that you do like this everything will be accurate okay you can understand me so even if you don't understand me for now later you will understand what i'm saying but always ensure that you always um, make this line equal with this line by extending it out and forming another blending process here okay so that's all we can take everything is complete everything is in order if you have any question do well to ask i'm always here for you your favorite tutor maybe nature aka classy by maybe bye for now